everybody. I'm back. Oh, Kathy. Uh, are you all right? You look all right. I'm fine, Mother. Uh, I, I just, I watched some TV, and, and there it was. The solution to my whole life. Was Joyce Brothers and Mike Douglas again? No, it was an old Audrey Hepburn movie. You saw Audrey Hepburn in a movie? That's nice. Yes, and thanks to Audrey, I now know how I'm going to spend the rest of my life. How? How is the picture? Uh, what was the picture? What picture on earth could affect the rest of your life? The nun story. No, 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 I'm not going to join a convent. I couldn't. They only take Catholics. And virgins, I think. I only mean that I'm renouncing men, all men. I'm never going to date, flirt, or even look at another one. Well, you have to look at them. I mean, half the people in the world are men, especially the couples. Well, except... If anyone has a reason to give them up, it's you, Kathy. I mean, imagine the man you love in bed with a naked actress. Well, I'll tell you, as one entertainer thinking on another, I'm just ashamed to be in the same business momentarily. Oh, everything is moving too fast for me. I don't understand how people can behave that way or talk that way. Let me ask you something. Does she look the same as she looked on television? Basically, a little thinner. Thinner? How could they look thinner than they look on television? Well, I think that they have all their back teeth pulled out. Like a, and it gives them them hollow cheeks, you know? Uh, did she say anything? Well, I think she introduced herself. Well, at least she's polite. But I really don't remember. All I know is, is that I dropped the groceries that I had in my arms. You mean to tell me that you bought him groceries and he did that to you? Yeah. Well, we were going to stay in his apartment and cook dinner. Oh, did you pick up what you dropped, the groceries? I mean, with the price of things Mom, today. Mom, please. Oh, I was so looking forward to the shower and honeymoon postcards and having grandchildren. What shower? Your mama was planning you a surprise. Well, never mind. I don't want to hear about it. Bridal showers are for brides, and I'm giving up men. They could all drop dead as far as I'm concerned. Just so long as you're not bitter. I'm not bitter. I've just found myself. Oh, well, that's good. Mom, I was so afraid for you. Yes, you were so upset. I thought you might hurt yourself or lose your mind or go crazy. Wait a minute. You mean like Bonnie Hardwick on The Guiding Promise when Brad Thurston ran off with that fashion model that had the brain tumor? Yes, I saw that. Uh, Grandpa was watching it, you know, and uh, he liked the part where she kept forgetting who everybody was and wandering out into traffic. I usually don't watch those things, but just for the record, Bonnie Hardwick was not the one who went crazy. She was the sister. Bonnie was the sister who had to adopt children because her tubes were tied. Yeah, you're right. It was Belinda Smythe who went crazy. Is there any more coffee, Mom? I think so. Well, I would love to have some more coffee, but frankly, I've just got to be hopping over to my own house. You're walking. Oh, yeah, hon. I'm making great progress on the stick horse here. Of course, I really ain't ready for the Olympics yet. Well, I'll see y'all later now. Bye. Uh, I didn't know they had events for people with canes. I'll get the coffee myself. Mm -hmm. M Mary, Mary, mm -hmm. tell your sister she's crazy. Mother. Well, Kathy, I don't want you to turn sour on men and become an old maid like my sister Rose. You know how pitiful Rose can be. I'm not pitiful. I know, but you shouldn't turn off on a whole sex. That's half the world. They're all creeps. Every single one of them. Not true. Some, perhaps. But before you make a decision that could affect your entire future, or even the next couple of weeks, stop and think. I am thinking. And what I think is, is that I always get hurt. Ah, but why? 
Because I get involved with men, and they're all basically creeps. Wrong! It's because your relationships are built on a total lack of understanding of your own worth as a human being. They are? Oh, Mary, that sounds like it could have been said by some doctor on Dinah's place. It was. And it's what I see when I look at Kathy and her relationships with whoever. Even Steve? Exactly. You do not encourage people to respect your feelings or your future. Did you ever think that you could possibly be like, you know, a psychiatrist or a guidance counselor? Do you really think so? Yeah, but you still haven't changed my mind about how I feel about anything. I think that's so much more important, don't you? That people understand the attempt. Even if you don't get any results. <laughs>